टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ साइंस दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर एटीन एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज पोल्यूशन ऑफ एयर एंड वाटर सो टुडे इन दिस स्लाइड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पोल्यूशन ऑफ एयर सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द सम टॉपिक्स सो वन बाय वन वी जस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल द टॉपिक्स दैट इज गिवेन इन दिस चैप्टर सो फर्स्टली वील नो दैट वॉट इज एयर पोल्यूशन सो लेट्स नो अबाउट दैट वॉट इज एयर पोल्यूशन pollution of air and water now we are going to know about that what is air pollution so air pollution means you are knowing that air is a mixture of gases and which is present all around the two main gases that is present in air are nitrogen and oxygen nitrogen makes up 78% of the air whereas oxygen makes up 21% and the mixture of the gases containing nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide argon water vapor gives us pure air or we can say clean air which is good for us so in addition to the normal constituents the polluted air may also contain some harmful substances such as carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxide smoke and dust so when the air around us is polluted we are forced to breathe it and to remain alive though it is harmful to us many respiratory problems are caused by breathing in polluted air in fact respiratory problem among the children are increasing day and day by day due to the increasing air pollution so this is about the air pollution that i have told you means that you can define the pollutant like this you can define the pollution like this the presence of unusually high concentration of harmful or poisonous substances in the environment means environment means air water is called pollution pollution contaminates the air and water with the poisonous substances and makes them impure to such an extent that they become harmful to the human beings and other animals plant as well as non living things so these unwanted and harmful substances that contaminate the environment means these harmful substances that is present in air and water that causes the contamination of air and water and that is present in the environment are commonly known as pollutant or we can say that in most simple words we can define it like this a substance that causes the pollution is commonly known as pollutant so this is about the pollutant i have told you and i have told you that what is pollution how can you define the pollution air pollution means the contamination of air with the harmful gases like sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide carbon monoxide smoke dust is commonly known as air pollution and the substances whose presence in the air that makes the impure or contaminated is commonly known as air pollutant so the most common uh, pollutants that is present in air that is responsible to cause the air pollution are sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide carbon monoxide excess of carbon dioxide chlorofluorocarbon suspended particulate matter such as dust smoke and fly ash so these are the major pollutants that is responsible to cause the air pollution so i have told you that what is air pollution you have already know that the air is consist of mixture of gases as i have told you that it contains 78% of nitrogen carbon dioxide argon methane ozone water vapor is also present but they are present in very small quantities i have told you that what is air we know that we can survive for some time without food we cannot survive even for a minute without air we can we cannot survive we cannot uh, survive for a, a few minutes without air we can survive uh, we can survive for some time without food but without water but we cannot survive even for a minute without air so air is very important for us so this simple fact tell us that how the air is very important to us uh, i have told you that what is air pollution 
and how can you define it the addition of the uh, pollutants that is present in air which is responsible to cause uh, to uh, cause the contamination of the air and uh, and produces harmful effect for both the living and non living thing is commonly uh, referred to as air pollutant and the pollution that is caused by these pollutants is commonly known as air pollution <coughs> now the sources of emissions of air pollutants <coughs> so what are the sources from where the um, emission of the air pollutants takes place so these are the different sources like industries 52 percent transportation 27 percent consumer and commercial products 8 percent commercial and residential heating 1 percent agriculture 10 percent and other sources are 2 percent so these are the sources of the emission of the air pollutants <clears throat> now how does air gets polluted so what are the or we can say that what are the sources of the air pollution so most of the air pollution is caused by the <coughs> burning of the fuels such as wood cow dung cakes coal kerosene petrol diesel in homes motor vehicles automobiles factories thermal power plants various other sources of air pollution are first that the smoke that is emitted from the homes by burning of the fuels like wood cow dung cakes kerosene coal that causes the air pollution second one is exhaust gases that is mainly emitted by the motor vehicles or we can see automobiles due to the burning of petrol and diesel that cause the air pollution motor vehicles are the major cause of air pollution in big cities third one is that smoke that is emitted by the factories and the thermal power plants uh, due to the burning of the coal that is also responsible to cause the air pollution fourth one is oil refineries industries engaged in the production of metals and the manufacture of chemicals and that causes the air pollution so these are the different sources of the uh, air pollution <clears throat> now do you know that vehicles that produce the high levels of pollutants like carbon monoxide carbon dioxide nitrogen oxide and smoke carbon monoxide that is produced from the incomplete combustion of the fuels such as petrol and diesel and this carbon monoxide gas is a very poisonous gas and it reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood so it is very harmful for us and if the vehicles and uh, registered in delhi are lined up uh, one after the other the total length would be nearly equal to the combined length of the two longest river in the world nile and amazon so this is the point uh, to be noted that uh, how this carbon monoxide gas that is uh, mainly emitted by the incomplete combustion of the fuel is harmful for the living organism because it uh, reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood many industries are also responsible for causing the air pollution petroleum refineries are the major source of gaseous pollutants such as sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide that is <coughs> produced by the combustion of the fuels like coal in power plants and it it causes the respiratory problems including permanent lung damage so this is the harmful effect of this carbon dioxide this uh, sulfur dioxide gas now the next is tobacco smoke tobacco smoke means that smoke that is generated that generates a wide range of harmful chemicals and uh, that uh, is known to cause the cancer and it is well known that passive smoking causes the wide range of problems to the passive smoker the person who is in the same room with a smoker is not himself herself a smoker ranging from burning eyes nose throat irritation to the cancer bronchitis severe asthma and decrease in lung function so these are the harmful effect of the tobacco smoke so tobacco smoke is also responsible to cause the air pollution now pesticides pesticides means these are the chemicals that is uh, used uh, for the killing of the pest pest means these are those uh, small organism that causes harm to the crops 
so in order to kill them the farmers mainly use the pesticides in their crop fields so the pesticides if used carefully if used carefully and manufacturers instructions followed carefully they do not cause too much harm to the indoor air but if it is not used carefully then it is harmful next is biological pollutants biological pollutants includes pollen from the plants pollen grains from the plants mite hair from pets fungi parasites and some bacteria most of them are allergens and they cause the asthma hay fever and allergic diseases so these are the biological pollutants next is about the acid rain now we are going to know about that how the acid rain is caused and what is acid rain as we know that the burning of the fossil fuel like coal and oil in factories thermal power plants oil refineries and petrol and diesel in motor vehicles produces acidic gases that is acidic gases like sulfur dioxide gas and nitrogen dioxide gas which go into the air and pollute it that sulfur dioxide gas when react with water vapor which is present in air to form acid and these acids dissolve in rain water and fall to the earth in the form of acid rain thus the acid rain is the is that rain which contains small amount of acids formed from the acidic gases like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide so this acid rain causes the damage to the living as well as the non living things the damage that is caused by the acid rain is very slow hence cannot be seen immediately so there are some harmful effects of this acid rain also it causes uh, it destroys the forest also for example acid rain damages the forest trees by destroying the leaves it causes the leaves of the trees to turn yellow and fall off in the absence of leaves the roots of the trees cannot absorb the water from the soil and due to the lack of water the trees die so acid rain also damages lots of crop plants every year and causes a big loss to the farmers and this acid rain makes the soil acidic and this acidic soil is not good for the growth of the crop plants so this is one of the harmful effect of the acid rain the second harmful effect is that acid rain kills the aquatic animals such as fish this acid rain that causes the water in the ponds and lakes to become much more acidic which is unsuitable for the survival of the aquatic animals and plants and due to the high acidity of water the aquatic animals such as fish gets killed it corrodes the statues buildings historical monuments and damages them damages them slowly this is also one of the a uh, harmful effect of the acid rain the statues buildings monuments that is made from the marble or lime and stone the acid that is present in acid rain uh, uh, with the carbonates present in the marble and lime and stone of a statue building or monuments uh, corrode it slowly or dissolve it slowly so in this way the acid may uh, acid rain makes the statues buildings and monuments to crumble away slowly so this is the these are all the harmful effects of the acid rain <coughs> now chlorofluorocarbon now we are going to know about that chlorofluorocarbon and how this chlorofluorocarbon is harmful chlorofluorocarbon is a another kind of pollutant which is generally used in refrigerator air conditioners aerosol sprays and this chlorofluorocarbon damages the ozone layer this is one of the most harmful effect of this it causes the damages damage it cause it produces damaging effect <coughs> on the ozone layer of the atmosphere this ozone layer means that protects us from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun so it causes the dam it causes the damage of this ozone layer the ozone layer which is a protective layer because it protect us from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun so this is one of the effect of this kind of pollutant 
that is present in air. Next, the Taj Mahal also gets affected from the pollution. As I have told you earlier about that Taj Mahal which is located in Agra has become the matter of concern. Experts have warned that the pollutants in the air discoloring its white marble. So it is not only the living organism that gets affected by the polluted air but the non-living things like building, monuments, statues also gets adversely affected. Now, greenhouse effect. Now we are going to know about the greenhouse effect. As we know that the carbon dioxide gas that is present in the atmosphere that allows the heat of the sun to pass through it and reach the earth but prevents the heat rays reflected uh, from the earth's surface and its object from passing out of the atmosphere into the space. So in this way the sun's heat remains trapped in the earth's atmosphere and warm it up. The warming up or heating up of the earth atmosphere due to the trapping of the sun's heat rays by the carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere is commonly known as greenhouse effect. So the warming or the heating of the earth that is produced by the greenhouse gas is important for the existence of the life on the earth. This is because it is due to the warming of the earth by the greenhouse effect that the earth has become the habitable planet having the millions of different life forms on it. So this is one of the beneficial effect of the greenhouse effect. If there were no warming up of the earth atmosphere due to the greenhouse effect produced by the carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere, the whole earth would have been converted into extremely cold planet and making the existence of the life difficult on it. So the problem however arises when the amount of carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere increases too much uh, leading to the excessive heating of the earth and its atmosphere. So this carbon dioxide gas is added to the atmosphere mainly by the burning of the fossil fuel like coal, petroleum products like kerosene, petrol, diesel and LPG, natural gas. So uh, carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere by the plants and the trees for making the food for the photosynthesis. So this is about the greenhouse effect that I have told you. Next slide is about the global warming. Now we are going to know about that what is global warming and how it is harmful to us. The undue rise in temperature of the earth atmosphere due to the presence of the excessive greenhouse effect produced by increasing amount of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. It is called global warming. Global warming is harmful to us in many ways. It causes, it can cause the, uh, it, ca it can cause the sea levels to rise uh, dramatically. This will happen as follows: the rise in the temperature of the atmosphere due to the excessive greenhouse effect. So the global warming will melt the enormous amount of ice lying on the poles of the earth, and huge amount of water produced by meeting the polar ice will raise the level of the water in the sea and ocean and flood and the low lying areas of the earth and this will cause a damage to the life and property. So this is responsible for the melting of the glacier in Himalayas. Also get it started melting due to the global warming and it also reduces the rainfall in some areas leading to the drought condition, excessive sh shortage of water. And uh, this caused the death of many plants and animals in turn large areas of the earth also into semi-deserts. So uh, this, these are the harmful effects of the global warming. Now this is about the global warming and I have told you that how it is harmful to us. Now what can we be done to reduce the air pollution? So what are the several steps? that should be taken in order to reduce the air pollution. So there are different things that we can do it. There are many successive stories in the uh, flight in, in, in our fight against the air pollution. For example, <coughs> a few years ago, Delhi was one of the most polluted cities in the world 
It was being choked by the fumes released from the automobiles running on diesel and petrol. A decision was taken to switch to the fuels like CNG and CNG and unleaded petrol, and these measures have resulted in cleaner air for the city. There is a need to switch over the alternative fuels instead of using fossil fuel for our energy requirements. This is also one of the way to reduce the air pollution. These could be solar energy, hydropower, and wind energy. So these are the some alternative sources that can be used to get the energy instead of using fossil fuel, and that is responsible to reduce the air pollution. So students. these are the some topics that i have told you today there are some remaining topics in this chapter that we are going to come with the other topics very soon so whatever the topics that i have uh, explained you today you must revise properly yourself and uh, the questions are given in your book related to all the topics so try to solve it yourself so students uh, complete your work on time and uh, try to learn also so students Thank you